Welcome back to the Gnostic Chef. You guys uh, saw that new Super Mario Brothers came out? Yeah, I don't usually watch movies, but this time I did. I was asked, we went. Five kids, my daughter, and her cousins. We all wanted to go see it, so we went. Once again, you'll see that they're just playing these same roles over and over again, hence the hero's journey. So today we're gonna talk about the hero's journey. And you may not be familiar with the theory, but if you have watched some movies in the last few decades, you've probably noticed the story. An unlikely hero receives a call and he leaves home to enter a new bigger world. He finds guidance from wise mentors, overcomes obstacles, and finally obtaining or achieving a goal, then returns home forever changed. This happens in Mario. He goes into the mushroom world and uh, learns how to fight. Princess teaches him. There's even a whole scene where uh, Mario ends up in the belly of the whale. Uh, anybody remember Jonah? Then he uh, beats Bowser, yada, yada, yada. The story goes. The hero's journey, it was introduced into mythology by Joseph Campbell. Maybe you've seen the uh, book. The hero's journey cycle is hardwired into humans on a deep subconscious level. The myths throughout history and across cultures universally tell the story, the archetypal story. In other words, the storytellers do not start with a template and then create plots to fit it. They simply told stories and amazingly, a unified and shared narrative. The reason these stories resonate with people as much as they do is because they hit on something deep within us. Star Wars is, a ti is not timeless because of its spectacle and revolutionary special effects, but because we connect with Luke Skywalker's coming of age journey. Lord of the Rings, Frodo's on his quest, the existence of so many parallel myths has led numerous people to discount the story of Jesus as just another face, an archetypal hero, following the same fictional path as so many others, many of whom predate Jesus by thousands of years. And yet this universal story must have a source. But the hero's journey is one of those quests that we all are on. So nevertheless, pay attention and realize that your quest is going to come across different trials and tribulations that you will have to work through. This will be on your own quest and your own path, your own choices, your own journey. You can't allow others to play into it. God set you out for your trip. He's asking you to go find it on your own. You might get some teachers along the way, and there'll be a bunch of teachers that you'll just ignore and forget about. And before I go, I'll just run through the uh, ideas of the hero's journey, like the plot structure, I guess. So in the part one, you're gonna find the departure, like when Mario leaves to go and uh, help out the princess from King Koopa, Bowser. So that's his call to adventure. Then crossing the first threshold would be him getting in there to that place in time where he's gonna learn his next step. He's got supernatural aid, which you'll see. The little boxes with the power-ups. Then the part two is the initiation. That's where all the trials will be had, where he's learning. Part three is the return. And that return is where he is greeted as the hero. And that's you taking your trip. Don't forget all this. So in this case, the hero's journey is for each individual path and for you to learn along the way. You're never gonna get better through repeating the same mistakes. So try and make new ones. Let's all go out today and make a new mistake instead of repeating our past. And blessings. Thank you for coming in. To all of you, have a great night and enjoy.